Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, uh, you can do. You know, I'm always uploading interesting things. Uh, so yeah, I could provide you with some sewing entertainment if you're looking for some. So for this uh, episode, I am making um, the iris shorts by Colette Patterns. Um, these are really, uh, on the line drawings, I will insert them here. They look like really cool shorts with pockets in the middle of your of your legs, like on the front. And um, I never make pockets. If pockets are included on the side seams of dresses and skirts and tops, I will not make them because they just distort the seam, they add bulk to hips. And when you've got hips already, ha, who wants to add more volume down there? But in this case, I thought these pockets would were situated in the right place that they wouldn't distort anything and sh uh, change my shape. So I went ahead and did them. Um, now, I don't know if you do this, but when you have a pattern you haven't done before, you, I usually go and read pattern reviews about fit and things like that. And I... I I didn't just read one, I read maybe two or three reviews that said that, it, that it, it was running a bit small, where they advise you to size up. Um, so I thought I'll, I'm going to be safe, better be safe than sorry, uh, because I don't make twirls, it's just I'm not willing to make a thing twice, it's just not, I can't do it, I just can't, unless I'm making a brand new bodice that I've self-drafted. Anyway, take that aside. <laughs> I chose to cut a size 16 because there it said um, it was drafted for a 36 inch waist and 45 inch hips. Now I have a 34 and a half inch waist and 43 and a half to 44 inch hips. So I thought having an extra one and a half inch or like extra three and a half centimeters there to play with would be to my benefit. So I went ahead and um, made this. But things happened. Any, anyhow, <laughs> I have all the process filmed for you. So that is the next part. So that's coming here now. Now these shorts are too short for what I want. Um, I like shorts just above the knee. So I've measured the inseam of another pair of shorts that I like, uh, you know, the length of them. And that is 22 centimeters. Um, now if I don't take into consideration the seam allowance that's where I'm measuring from and these ones measure 13 so that means I need to add on nine centimeters um, to my shorts and plus hem allowance so um, there is a line there for you to lengthen or shorten here so I'll go ahead and cut that add on my nine centimeters throughout, throughout that line and then I'll have my new pattern piece here is the layout for my iris shorts from Colette and I have used, if I measure, it's exactly one meter of fabric, stretch denim. So um, I'm a bit under the fabric requirements and I mean if I would have made the shorts that short like they come, I would have used much less fabric. So I'm quite glad I got <laughs> the pattern pieces in less fabric. So you can see there where I've added the 9 centimeters in length. I've also drawn out the extra um, hem allowance, three centimeters. Now you see there's a little slant there and it's because you can't just do it straight or else when you fold that under you're going to have puckering. So if any pattern piece has a little angle you need to replicate that on the hem. Um, so yeah, I've drawn out that. I'm going to do pockets this time to see if I like them. And I've actually just replicated the waistband um, pattern pieces because I had to cut them twice on fold. So yeah, I've got two fronts and two backs. And the little bit of fabric left over will go in my stash and it will serve me for some sort of waistband. You know, nothing's ever gone to waste here. Um, the, the thing I added to this pattern is back pockets. It doesn't have back pockets and I don't like pants without back pockets. So I've taken the pattern piece from the Tana Culotte pants from Designer Stitch I've already made a couple times. They're like the right size and everything so I just found that pattern piece and put it there. I could have self-drafted it but what for? So yeah and now I'm just ready to cut this. 
At this point, I've done exactly as the instructions say and I've overlocked all the edge of each piece of the pocket, my main fabric pocket and my lining pocket. So it's all overlocked around the edges. I've also overlocked all the seams for my shorts, except for the hem and the waist, of course. <laughs> Uh, because this is denim and sturdy, I'm quite happy to do that before sewing because I'm not going to stretch out my fabric. So I had to actually look at the instructions here. <laughs> um, place the lining pockets right sides together with that part of the shorts. There's your crotch. Uh, so the inner front part of the shorts and then the outer front part of the shorts has the main fabric pocket or the denim pocket. So you see there I've done that on both sides. Now there's, um, there's a dot there and a dot there so you can line up the correct position of the pocket. So my next step is to sew there. So there, so there, there and there. And that's going to be with a one centimeter seam allowance. Here are my pockets already sewn in. Um, now we're facing um, the right side of the fabric is facing us and I've pressed the pocket there away from the short pieces. So away with the seam allowance facing towards the pocket. So I've done that for that, that and the other two pieces. And there I've got two extra stinky pockets I'm gonna put on the back. So those are just normal back patch pockets I'm gonna add. I've gone ahead now and placed right sides together. So this is the front piece for the uh, shorts. The smaller side, which is the out, outer part of the shorts and the inner part or the central bit there. So there's two red dots there. So the next step is to start here on top. This is the waist. So there's a red circle dot there, pivot, and then sew around the pocket to that red circle, pivot, and then go all the way down and do that for both of the legs. So the pocket is here. That's where you put your hands in. Um, and I have yet to see how I'm going to top stitch this because how am I going to top stitch with that pocket there? I don't know. I should have thought of that before. <laughs> These are my two back pattern pieces and I have uh, pinned on the back patch pockets there. And I'll do a close up and show you. I've already done some top stitching on the pockets. That's how the um, pocket looks. Now that I have my pockets already stitched on and my front and leg both ready, all I have to do is put right sides together and unite the inseams. So that is the next step. And that one hasn't been done. I haven't overlocked there. So I'll do the straight stitch and then I'll do the overlocking there. So all the crotch has been stitched and overlocked. So we can see here it looks pretty finished. The side seams haven't been closed.
At this point I'm going to attach the waistband and I've used up basically all of my pins. So there is the edge of the shorts, there is one waistband and there's the other one because it's, it's double and it's curved. So it'll have a seam on the top and the seam there. So I've attached all that and I've attached that to that and here where the zipper is I've placed it almost to the edge and I'm going to actually sew up to there and then turn it around and the same with this other side now this is the side that's going to overlap onto the other side of the waistband where I'll have my um, buttonhole on this side so I've got to attach the front and the back waistbands together like that and I've got to do that on that side and on the front piece of the waistband and on the back so yeah so the pants I didn't film myself fitting it because then you would have seen my undies and anyway anyhow the pants were huge I mean huge I ended up taking in the side seams by two centimeters so Instead of having a seam allowance of one and a half centimeters, I had a seam allowance of three and a half centimeters. So basically, I took out eight centimeters of circumference around the waist and the hips all the way down. And even then, they're big. But they're big, they're wearable because, because I need them for activities that require my movement, like cycling. So I will wear them like this. Um, so I ended up taking eight centimeters out of the circumference around the whole thing by taking two more centimeters in both sides and then the back darts I ended up taking them in loads more so maybe two centimeters more that means there's 10 centimeters less around the waist than what the shorts were drafted for now keep in mind I'm using stretch denim so that plays a part in that as well but I would never make shorts out of a woven fabric how uncomfortable would that be no stretch shorts not a thing that I'm <laughs> going to consider making anytime soon. It's like, it's like you wouldn't buy jeans that don't have stretch because it's so uncomfortable, you know? So anyway, um, here are my shorts. <laughs> I really like them. Um, I will make them again in probably in a, in a black denim as well because it's a staple for me. Black denim and dark blue denim, you know, it goes with everything. So I've done top stitching with green I'm not sure you're gonna see that oh, the lighting's not that great but green top stitching there two rows you know the waistband no I love this waistband because it's a curved waistband so even though it's more work to attach because of it's like that you have to attach a lot of pieces it gives you an awesome result um, you can see in there the marks of the original tiny dart and I made the dart so much longer and so much wider there to take in more you know and well the construction of these shorts was for me unconventional <laughs> because it had you sew up the inseams first and then leave the side seams flapping around I do it the other way around but anyhow I followed the instructions for the sake of making these and um, the side seams on one of them have a zipper um, called for an invisible zipper, but I don't have an invisible zipper foot and I have no intention of purchasing one because I don't like invisible zips. I just don't like them uh, So I think this sort of normal centered insertion with top stitching is fine for denim I was quite happy to do that and now for for shorts or any pant that's thick and made out of denim I would not make them without back pockets. I think having just the fabric there is really unflattering. I don't know. I always make a, a pocket and then I should have made it a tad bigger, but it was the only fabric I had available from when I cut out the pattern, okay? Um, I think the amount that I lengthened them, nine centimeters is perfect for me. They hit me where they hit me, very modest length. Uh, for the activity that I want them for, you know? So have a look at some pictures of me wearing these and then I'll be back to say goodbye. Cool, so 
One thing I forgot to mention is the size of these pockets. So there's a pocket there. See there, I've done some top stitching and then from here down as well. I can barely fit my hand in here and I don't have a big hand. It's average sized, I believe. <laughs> so yeah, the, the pocket depth in here is fine. It's just the opening here needs to be a bit, maybe one centimeter bigger. And check out this cool lining I put in there. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, this was a fun project to make. If um, I take away all the, un, you know, I'm picking and all that stuff, but otherwise it was fun to make. And now that I know it's too big, next time I'm just gonna go down and make a size 12. So I'm gonna size down two sizes. And maybe I will keep, yeah, I'll definitely keep the crotch length the same, but I'll take the circumference out of the size 12. I think that would be the perfect fit for me. Anyway, keep your eyes peeled for the next video because it's gonna be a tad hilarious because I have to show you a massive sewing fail. Now, um, I, I, I've shown you some fails, I can't remember. Sometimes I show you things that didn't work and then how I fixed them and you know stuff like that, but basically this one is unfixable. I cannot wear this garment and it was so much work and the garment is perfect but I just can't wear it <laughs> so um, yeah it, I thought maybe I won't even show you it I'll just you know just ignore it like I would never made it but I think it might provide you some learning uh, opportunities and some entertainment value maybe so that is the one coming up next thanks everyone for watching I love reading your comments so Go ahead, leave me comments <laughs> and see you next time. Happy sewing. Bye.